it looks like I'm going to have these leftover chicken enchiladas. And they are going to be amazing. Because, well, I'll show you why when I pop one of these bad boys open. Anyone with information pertaining to this case, please call the tip line at 1-800-CALFI. Amber alert on your voicemail. If that's what it really is. So that was a so-called semi-amber alert, which I hate to see a child be lost or taken, but I also realize our children aren't being uh, searched for as aggressively. So, you know, I want to focus attention on children who may not have the luxury of people really looking for them. Children who could have been me, who one day may be me. Children who look like me. And that's another thing those storm chasers do. They, they figure out who your family is, who you know. They start calling you from local area codes. They start calling you from area codes where, where you have family. They use numbers that it may have whatever area code, but the last four numbers are the four numbers of someone either you dial frequently or your own or <sighs> the order is something else. It's something else they are. So yeah, this is my chicken enchilada. I want you guys to be able to see this. Mm -hmm. That's Instagrammable, ain't it, bitch? Mm -mm. If I have an avocado, I might make a little guacamole, but I probably won't because this is good. And I'm going to need to sit down and eat it without uh, intervention. Oh, and also, I wanted to tell you guys that I learned how to make the best beans ever a long time ago. Black beans, so I already make the bomb black beans. But recently, I discovered that the lightest ever, my Latino fam knows about this, but the lightest ever dash of fruit seasoning on your black beans and man i mean light you can't get the just anyway this is just light like that's it mm -hmm. mm. i'm gonna suggest you know what i should make a long list of things that i use this fruit seasoning on for my latino homies i'm gonna do this because i use this shit on everything except fruit Oh, but that's what I was showing you. You think I'm doing a lot, but I'm not. See, I do it on the plate. I'm not. And the reason why I'm not is because this thing, it's just a block. Because it's years old. That's, it's years old. That's how long it's lasting. But I got a new one anyway. I think I did a video and showed you guys. But anyway. I should have just made this a mukbang, right? You guys like those. And that's not, which is interesting because uh, you guys had a salad with me on the deck years ago. And, and one of my subscribers said that they didn't like people eating on camera. And I was like, well, I only have a handful of people watching me. I should respect those handful of people. So I stopped eating on camera. Come to find out, y'all been watching, loving people eating on camera. Something for everybody. Let me flip this around and see what's good. Unless my kitchen is dirty, which it probably is, in which case you guys won't be getting this mukbang. Even though my mukbang will have, I'll have the only mukbang with limited portions. <laughs> oh, it could be a munchies mukbang. Because even though you scarf stuff down, when you got the munchies, you just, oh, you just savoring the flavor and just tasting everything. And if that's what the what mukbang is for, is, is to some people, I'm here for it. I think I turned some music on. It'd be like a brunch picnic. But we won't be able to do many of these lately because I'm going to do some heavy juicing over the next couple of weeks. Mm -mm. What you know about that? That homemade chicken enchilada, girl. I made the sauce. I gotta remember that's the whole point. I keep covering my mouth, but that's the whole point, right? You want it all. It's getting ready to rain.
So I need to get these. So I need to get these seeds in the ground. Protein bear. Hmm. I want to go get that other enchilada now, but portion control. And what'll make me feel better is knowing it'll be like a treat, knowing how good it's going to taste when I get to it later. Mr. does not do that crusty end of the tortilla. But I've been doing good with my um, raw veggie juices and protein. So, bitch, I'm, I'm thirsting for carbs. So, I'm going to eat this crust. Ooh, but I'm so big. I'm determined though, y'all. Give me a month. I won't have lost all of it, but I will have lost a notable amount of weight. And I'll be wondering what took me so long to get serious. But I know what took me so long. A sugar junkie. A sugar junkie. But we about to cold turkey detox, big. We about to cold turkey detox. Tell them, Barry. I love you, too. Some of the longest intros ever. He was an orchestra composer for real. Isaac Hayes, too, really. I don't have two bites left. I just want to see what it'll taste like with a normal amount on it. You know what probably be? Oh, no, it's still good. Let me see. Shoot, it's still good. <laughs> Damn, y'all, it's still good. still good even when I put a lot on there well not a lot but what what somebody who's heavy-handed with salt would normally put on it incidentally uh -uh, while I'm eating like a pig to be thinner um that's another tip, a condiment tip. One of these things, one of the reasons why this, this makes seasoning your fruits or whatever you use it on somewhat healthier is because uh, citrus and tart flavors are a great substitute for salt. And what better way, because citrus is healthy as hell, right? So... 
So having said that, this is clearly better than salting your food in general because it uses a lot of uh, lime for flavoring, which brings me to offer you seasonings like if you like hot, if you like spicy food anyway, hot sauce is good. Again, sodium levels suck, but it's a great substitute for sodium. Oh, this falls right in line perfectly because one of my secret ingredients for my new black bean recipe that I was just balling out on and bragging about that nobody knows that apparently I'm gonna tell you anyway was lime instead of salt. Like I didn't use salt, I just used lime and apparently this is good as well. And then the other vegetables that, that added their character to it, the, you know, the onions, the peppers, but lime is what really kicks up my black beans without added sodium. You're welcome. <laughs> so in eating in general, you could use, um, I said hot sauce, if you like spicy foods anyway, hot, hot sauce, mustard. In one of my earlier phases, I substituted mustard for mayo. And mustard has a lot, the a lot less of mustard has a lot more flavor than mayo does. Now, mayo is good, That's but that's because our taste buds have been conditioned since we were young. You know, whether you were a yuppie on the upper side, you, you love mayo because, well, you're, you know, privileged. And if you were in the hood, you had mayo sandwiches because, well, privilege was eating all the meat, <laughs> eating all the meat with the mayo. So, you know, we, we, we could pretend we have mayo and pretend there was some meat on there. So, okay, I went off track, but you know, hell, this is a munchies mukbang, albeit a mini one. But yeah, mustard's a good substitute. Uh, I said lemon lime, vinegar, which takes me to a whole new video. Plus I'm finished eating, I clean my plate like, like a big girl. And yes, I use paper plates often, especially when it's just me. But you know what? I think I'm gonna use regular plates a little more when I turn the camera on. Because if I'm gonna be showing stuff and plating it up, that'll help the before picture. And by before, I mean before it gets smashed, because it, be, it gets smashed, <laughs> you know, during the munchie session. And also, if I wanna take a picture of it, it, you know, it frames better, obviously. And plus, I have a I have a handful of ASMR viewers who told me that you guys like uh, you like the fork uh, when it bumps into the plate as well. No matter how few times it may happen, yeah, I don't miss anything. I swear to God. Anywho, I'll holler at y'all in a minute because we're gonna be spending. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, but we're gonna be spending a lot more time together.